I made Minecraft using the Unity game engine and it's... Uh, wait, let me just fix this bug. Okay, as I was saying, I made my own version of Minecraft, but I spiced it up with things like exploding body parts, this flying mob thing, a gun because why not, and also this, freezing time. And yeah, I know I'm not the first to make my own Minecraft game. Okay, okay, I get the idea. Although, I was able to pick up some time-saving tricks from other videos. Like, since Minecraft basically is infinite terrain, it's actually considered a pretty bad idea to use cubes, and instead you want to use something called voxels. They look like cubes, but they only render the sides you see, so it saves memory and doesn't destroy your computer. And a bunch of these chunks of voxels can be stitched together to make an infinite randomly generated world like this one. Or this random world. Or this one. Okay, let's be honest, these all kinda look the same. But the best part about Minecraft is we could change the world by destroying any block and building new things. So if we reload a chunk each time a player clicks somewhere, we can actually destroy blocks and also place new ones. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, it's just this YouTube video I had on. For a second I thought it might have been a zom- Jokes aside, zombies were pretty easy to make and definitely didn't cause me any issues at all. I eventually did get them to cooperate, and they'll walk towards me and jump whenever they see a block in their way. And they also like to do this really fun thing where they gang up on me. In case you didn't notice it, I made a little inventory system so when you destroy a block, a mini block shows up and you can pick it up and place it. And I made a change so that the player starts with a diamond sword in their inventory. And you could do this with it. You might have noticed my little personal touch there. When you kill a mob, it basically explodes and its body parts go everywhere. It's fun! Any idea which mob I added next? Yep, you guessed it. Creepers. You know those cute green creatures that explode when you get too close? And they also just happen to be the number one cause of death in my Minecraft world. I also wanted to make my own mob. I call it a flying creeper thingy. And it basically flies around dropping explosive TNT. And unless you get really high up, good luck trying to kill it. This felt a little unfair and I didn't want people to rage quit the game. So I did the only sensible thing by adding a gun. So you're probably thinking, aren't guns sort of overpowered? And you'd be right. So that's why I made it you could sometimes find diamonds while mining. And I added this crafting menu so you could only get a gun by crafting it using diamonds. If you're wondering why you need diamonds and wood to make a gun, that's because I have no idea how guns work. And since the mobs were getting in the way of my beautiful creations, I made a basic day and night cycle. So mobs will only spawn at night and suffer a less than pleasant death at daybreak. And while we're on the topic of dying mobs, I added gold ores, and you can mine gold to craft this really cool hourglass that freezes mobs for 10 seconds. And then you could kill them or use it as a chance to run away. I recommend killing them. And if you're looking for a more wholesome experience, you could also make yourself invincible or remove mobs from the menu. If you didn't dislike this video, consider subscribing, it's free. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you could download the game free in the description. Thanks so much for watching.